Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best free video editing software for YouTube in 2018. And without further ado, we're pretty much just going to be running through a list of some video editors that I know are uh, free that pretty much live up to all the expectations a YouTuber is going to have from their video editor. Uh, but if you guys don't have too much change to go buy one of the more reputable YouTube video editors, for example, uh, if you're on Windows, I'd suggest Sony Vegas. If you're on Mac, I'd suggest Premiere Pro. If you don't really have the money for this stuff at the moment, these video editors will do you good until you can actually buy one of those or figure out how to crack it, which is something that I don't know about. Uh, but, you know, I've heard it's pretty easy if you don't want to pay for this stuff. Anyways, here are some strictly free video editors that definitely live up to the others. First up is a uh, video editor that I don't know how to pronounce. Yep, that's not really one of its features, but that's just uh, my dealings with it so far. I believe it's called a Vidmo. And I've heard a lot about this video editor, even though I've never heard anybody pronounce it correctly, or uh, maybe I just don't know how to pronounce it. Who knows? Anyway, that's, that's really not important. Anyways, Avidmo is a pretty nice, uh, lightweight video editor. From what I've heard about it, uh, it's not the most intense, as in if you're really deciding to sit down and edit a huge project, you should probably take it somewhere else because this particular video editor is, um, so I've heard, I haven't actually used it, but it's better for the lightweight style stuff. For example, if you've just got a few clips from, uh, I don't know, a day vlog that you made or something like that uh, to put together. Maybe you've got like a gaming commentary where uh, you've just got some gameplay and uh, your voice to go over it. Basically, just very, very simple stuff. Then you should go over to a Vidmo, but if you're actually thinking about getting something that's gonna be um, more of a powerful video editor, I'd suggest maybe waiting until uh, one of the other editors we talk about in this list. But in terms of uh, support-wise, um, it does support pretty much all major file types, I believe, and I, I mean, you'd hope that every video editor would support all major file types, but I'm pretty sure it works with all major file types. Go over there if you're really after the most kind of work, if you know what I mean. If it's not going to use too much processing power, it's not going to use too much strength to put together your project, a Vidmo is definitely going to be the one. But without further ado, let's get on to the next ones and the more powerful ones. And the next up on my list is a boom, a very, very simple one, and that is iMovie. Yes, um, obviously iMovie is only available for the Mac users, so if you are a Windows user, basically just keep watching the video. But uh, overall, if you do have Mac and you can take advantage of iMovie, definitely do. This particular program is so on point, it might even be one of the best free video editing software out there. Of course, it is Mac's video editing software, so of course, it's gonna be better. Mac does a lot of really, really nice stuff with the software over there, but of course, they make it exclusive to Mac. Um, I'm sure someone's figured out how to get iMovie on Windows, but personally, I haven't, and I, I don't need to, to be honest, I've got better video editors, but in terms of the free video editor, iMovie is great. Uh, I believe the new version supports 4K now, which is huge, you know what I mean? Uh, personally, I shoot loads of stuff on 4K, all of my club stuff, if you heard me talk about that, all that stuff is shot in 4K, so if you guys are making 4K stuff as well, that's very cool, iMovie supports that. Of course, supports all major file types, and um, overall, I actually used to edit on iMovie ages ago, a long ass time ago, and um, it definitely does the job, 100%, more than the job. Like I said, it's probably the best free video editing software. Um, the only thing that lets it down is it's only on the Mac. So if it was a dual platform, then it would definitely be, in my book, the best free video editing software. Okay, next up on the list is going to be the VideoPad video editor. I also used to use this as well. Pretty good, I can't lie. Um, it's not the most advanced thing in the entire world, uh, but it is extremely user friendly, I suppose you could say. It's really easy to navigate, really easy to learn if you've never really picked it up. It's just kind of just a few different tabs and things like that. It comes uh, already loaded with a variety of different transitions and a variety of different uh, effects, which are extremely, extremely cool. You can mess around with these and kind of just tweak these. And like I said, it is hands down probably one of the most easy to navigate programs. Um, same with iMovie as well, actually, even though we just talked about that. Uh, 
Um, both of these programs, the interface is kind of just friendly and welcoming. It's the type of thing that you aren't really confused by or kind of like almost like afraid of at first um, until you get used to it and know where stuff are. You definitely are not going to have a problem navigating around. And um, just overall, I, I believe it is the easiest to navigate on this entire list. So. If maybe you haven't even um, had a video editor past Windows Live Movie Maker or something like that, and you're very much so at the beginning of your video editing kind of journey, your video editing um, picking time, if you know what I mean, you're picking the editor that you're gonna go forward with, this is definitely a good beginner slash starter video editor, especially if we're talking about YouTube, because uh, for YouTube videos, I can't even lie, you don't need the most advanced thing in the entire world, and um, this particular video editor, VideoPad video editor, is an extremely good uh, kind of bridge to get you to one of the more advanced video editors while you're learning the ropes and kind of just understanding what you're doing and um, pretty much just need something free to help you do that. But overall, VideoPad video editor definitely coming in at number three. Very, very, very good video editor, or number two, I guess, because I guess we would have started at four. I don't know, I, I really don't know how I'd be counting this. It's really like a myth how I edit the video afterwards. Boom, finally up on our list, guys, is Lightworks. Yes, this is at number one or number four. I, I don't know how I've counted them, to be fair. None of these are in a particular order. That's the thing, I've just been kind of, just picked random four, uh, four editors that actually worked, but, now at the end of the list is Lightworks and the only thing that lets Lightworks down unfortunately is some really annoying problems they have with making you um, making the trial really short so if you actually get this particular editor technically it is a free video editor and it is extremely extremely good in fact the Wolf of Wall Street yep the, the huge blockbuster film was actually edited on this particular program that's right it has been around for over 25 years, an extremely reputable program. However, of course, they do offer a free version, but you have to keep renewing it every single uh, seven days, I think it is. Every single seven days you have to renew it. And also, because it's so good, they only let you export in 720p resolution and quality. Um, if you stay on the trial version, which uh, again is a little bit um, annoying because, you know, we're pretty much past the days of 720p being um, like a great quality, you know what I mean? You need 1080p or 4K really. And overall, that's the, the two points that really let Lightwork down. However, still an extremely good video editor. Doesn't change the fact that Wolf of Wall Street, a massive blockbuster film that no doubt generated hundreds of millions of dollars, was edited on this program, which is a huge accolade to be fair. I personally love that film. Funny as hell with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and um, what's what's my man's name? Uh, Jonah Hill. Great film, absolute great film. Overall, just a few different uh, video editors that I know are free that all kind of explore different style of video editing and also are all not tailor made for YouTubers, but they all definitely do the job and uh, kind of fit the mold that a YouTuber is going to want when looking for a new video editor to essentially just chop everything up, put music in there, put a couple transitions, put a, you know maybe a couple effects, and then maybe put like their Twitter at the end or something like that. You know what I mean? For the average YouTube video, you don't need that much power in your video editor and you don't even really need to buy one of these bigger video editors. Um, <laughs> I just say that because everybody cracks their stuff. Like, I can't confirm or deny whether I still crack all my stuff, but most people do. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching the video. I've been Jack Riss, Jack Cole. If you, uh, you know, found this helpful, smash me a like below. How did I get confused by that? Smash me a like below. Smash me a comment below. Hit the subscribe button for more video editing slash video production themed videos. And I'll catch you guys uh, in another video. Bye.